Hi, I'm Anupi Singla with Indian as Apple Pie and author of Indian for Everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it is to make Indian food in your own kitchen. We're going to make spicy Indian hash browns in the Balti, part of La Creuset's Cuisines of the World line. So as you can see here, I have all of my main ingredients prepped. That's called mise en place, a fancy French word to basically say everything is already chopped up and cut up and in its own place. We've got onion, some chilies, we've got potatoes, we've got some cilantro as well. But what I always say for Indian and any other cuisine as well, you can do your mise en place for your fresh ingredients, but what about your spices? Instead of reaching for jars and turning lids and all that stuff, we actually opt to put all of our spices into a spice tiffin. This is a little um, box that holds all of our seven essential spices. The key spices for Indian are going to be cumin seed, turmeric powder, coriander powder, gutta masala, which is a spice blend. Gutta means warm in Hindi, masala means mixture of spices, a red chili powder or cayenne, and basic salt. Keep in mind that all of these are heart healthy, the turmeric fights inflammation, it fights disease if you have a sore throat. Have some turmeric in your lemon water, hot lemon water in the morning. The cumin helps fight diabetes and heart disease. All of these spices are fantastic healers and important to get into your day. So with Indian cooking, it is really fast, easy cooking, but you really want all of your components, your main ingredients, your spices, your oil if you're using oil, right there. So we've got our pan heating up the balti on a medium high heat. It's nice and hot, you can tell by kind of touching the handle so you know it's like ready to cook in. We're gonna take our oil, I like to use a grapeseed oil because it's a high smoke point oil. It also has a very balanced flavor profile so it doesn't change the flavor of the dish that you're cooking. You can go for a canola, a vegetable oil, coconut oil is delicious as well. So try a different oil, see what you like. You just wanna make sure that it's high smoke point because we are um, using such high heat with our cooking. Now, the oil is in, it's nice and hot. We're gonna now go ahead and put in about a teaspoon of cumin seed. See how it sizzles? We're gonna get a little bit of turmeric in there as well. And we're gonna just let that cook for about 30 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and put our onion in. So very super simple. It's gonna sizzle beautifully. We're gonna get the onion in and let it brown just a little bit. And now we're gonna put in our potatoes. So these potatoes, have been diced up. Remember, if you're gonna keep them on the counter for a little while, just have them in a bowl of water. That way they won't brown at all on you. Kind of mix that up a little bit. And get that turmeric moving around. Make sure all of your little potato pieces are coated in that beautiful turmeric. So we got that going. If you wanted to, you could have grated these potatoes. Again, as I said before, you can also use sweet potato, you could use the red potato, whatever you wanna do. We wanna get a really nice sort of caramelization on it, so we're gonna spread it out a little bit, just kinda let it cook down. And as it cooks, we're gonna go ahead and add the other spices. We wanna put in a little bit of coriander powder. It's gonna be about a teaspoonful of that. We're gonna add in our spice mix, the gutta masala, about a teaspoon of that as well. Some red chili, because I just love heat. If you like Indian food, you usually do love heat. If you don't want the heat, don't put this cayenne or red chili in. Skip this step. But if you like it, get it in there. A little more onion, some chilies. I love my Thai chilies and my serranos. We're gonna put that right in there for you. Give it a mix. We're gonna cook this beautifully. And the nice thing is about the balti is the shape of it it really allows you to do that sort of high heat cooking without burning anything. You're gonna let this basically cook for another couple minutes. 
probably about two to three minutes. If it does stick a little bit, add just a little bit of moisture, just a tiny bit of water, maybe about a tablespoon at a time. Let it still cook through. And when the potatoes are nice and soft, you serve it up and that's it. Very simple, very easy. I think you can find all of these ingredients in your kitchen. If you don't have the spices, go to an Indian grocery store, go to your grocer, ask for them. They likely have them and get cooking Indian as apple pie style with your balti.